Uh, great, thanks, Megan. Uh, my name's uh, Bob Jackson. I'm one of the directors here at CSOLS. My responsibility is uh, really manufacturing systems, uh, including sample manager. I've been working with LIMS and sample manager for, well, quite a few years, as you can see from the slide. I've been involved in all levels of LIMS projects from uh, coding the VGL, doing business analysis, integrating instruments, um, building applications, upgrading, managing projects, managing other people's in projects, managing multiple projects. Uh, my role at the moment is uh, managing all the work we're doing in the uh, really uh, non-life science manufacturing area, mostly sample manager projects. So uh, first of all, just like to touch upon the agenda today. I'm gonna to talk about uh, not just integration of the laboratory perspective, but we're also going to go up a couple of levels. We're going to talk about uh, integration across manufacturing sites as a whole and across multiple sites for more of an enterprise, uh, business unit, regional view. I'm going to bring it all together with the various tools. We're also going to kind of review some data analytics and dashboarding in integrations and talk about some more you know, coming down the road things for the future, such as voice and extended reality, which are beginning to appear in the Sample Manager Limbs product. So I'd like to uh, start off with just three, three or four slides just showing the perspective of where uh, the laboratory fits within the overall organization of things. So here's the a very simplistic representation of limbs within the laboratory where you have samples coming in, getting received, tested, results entered, reporting, you know, results going back as data to the customers of the laboratory. So a laboratory is typically embedded within a larger organization and is, performs a service for that organization. So one of the examples of that and the one we're using today is the manufacturing context, which is uh, where a laboratory is there to support the manufacturing process at a site doing uh, definitely in-process samples, probably final product samples, may well be doing some environmental monitoring. Um, Really, but typically the main line of manufacturing would take in the uh, really pulling in the raw materials, receiving into warehouses, into the process, doing a bunch of manufacturing processes uh, through tanks, pipes, reactors, creating product, which is either could be sent back to the warehouse uh, for use in other products, or it could be shipped out to other manufacturing sites as an intermediate, or it could be a shippable product out to the customers of the manufacturing organization. And see, I represented on the left-hand side, we have some of the typical systems we see in the uh, manufacturing arena, such as manufacturing execution systems, MES, process historians and process controllers. And then on the right, a kind of representation of our laboratory and our limb system kind of tied in there. So representing the integration across all these various elements. So, so really that's like um, one manufacturing process. A site could include uh, one or more manufacturing areas. A you know, big site could stretch over miles and include many different units. So going up a level where we see represented on the left-hand side, we have the ERP for Enterprise Resource Planning. An example of that most commonly seen would be the SAP system, which is really running the whole business from um, all the ordering raw materials, uh, delivery and finances of delivering products to customers. It's a whole bunch of ERP business level 
their processing orders, controlling the manufacturing process and shipping out product for delivery to customers. And to the right-hand side, we have a, a kind of looking at our representation of a manufacturing unit showing the uh, laboratory embedded within that level as well. So the goal of these diagrams is really to show how the lab is just a small part of um, an overall manufacturing organization, just part of a larger enterprise. 